I use this as evidence. Use my tapes as evidence. Pompous, cigar smoking, pork drinking bastards. That's what you are. You're not a very nice bunch of people. Am I angry? I'm fucking angry. Days. I didn't run. I didn't hide my head because I'm not guilty of nothing. What I, how I train a dog is how I train a dog. You people went out of your way and you rubbished me. You didn't say nothing because you're clever. You sat there and let people rip me to pieces. Well, guess what? I'm coming to get you. I warned you. I'm coming to get you. Just tell him in dog language. You're going to listen, son. thing is they're not rumors your own videos show you hitting dogs we don't have to edit your videos to make it look like you hit dogs you post videos of you hitting dogs and pinning dogs and firing jet washers at them to get them to stay in a kennel nobody needs to provide fake evidence you provide it for us he's a bully he threatens people right, all these all these rumors were, were put out there and nicely and what we want to do, we want him to start holding the dummies and presenting them perfect now. Where we, some of them tend to do it naturally and some of them take a while. And we've given him long enough now. So what we do... Look at the expression on this dog's face. To be a good gun dog, you have to have confidence. How many trials have you won with your dogs, Chris? In your however many decades you've been doing it, you haven't won a single one. Why do you think that is? doing now this isn't force retrieving but this is tidying up the delivery what we call bench training to get the dog's confidence that he's got to hold it so open the mouth and tell him hold it and move away from him we go back to him we stroke him under the chin do that stroke the top of the head look there's no change in that dog when you reward it because it's so afraid it to me there everything's fine and then we move back towards him. And we lift his head up and we stroke him. Look, when you stroke that dog, there is no change in it. Look. We didn't wait it, we've nurtured him. So frightened, so even when you reward it, it looks terrified. Retrieves to hand, and it wasn't quite good enough. So now what we decided to do is we decided to tell him and teach him to hold it. And then he gets the praise. Lots of praise. So there's nothing nasty about it, but it's consistent. Try telling the dog that. Look at it. it. Look at its tail down. Look how frightened it. it is. Look. Hold it. But you see nothing wrong with Hold that, it. do you, Chris? The dog's terrified. You think that's dog training? I can't understand why you haven't won more trials, Chris. Really can't understand it. Get up. Get up. Get up. Hold it. Hold it. Look at it. Look. Hold practically it. crawls up to you. Good lad. Look, when you praise it, where's the wagging tail? Where's the happy dog? Hold it. Doesn't exist because it's too scared. Come here. You must be Come very here. proud. You post this because you must be proud. Hold it. Oh my God, look at that. Hold look. it. Look. Still got the keenness. Keenness, look at his tail, look. Look at it. That's and keen. <laughs> That's key. Use the tennis Are you ball kidding? To get the delivery right. Look at that. It's a trap. Disgraceful. Absolutely disgraceful. Listen. I had to be hard on him. I had to correct him. Come here. Look, another one who crawls in. Look, all your dogs crawl up to he you. He is a bunny boiler. That's all I'm going to say. And to be honest with you, I like to be kept informed to a certain extent. I'll read it to you, just in case you can't see it on the here. It says, my wall is filled with pictures of dogs, the wildlife around me, and the beautiful countryside that I live in. Well, she lives on the... She's disabled. She, she, um, 
you're supposed to be an epileptic. Now, in one of the videos Chris has put up, <laughs> hopelessly attempting to discredit me, he criticizes me because I threatened to punch a guy who was on a TV show I did because he did something so abusive to his dog that I said, we have to stop filming and I walked away. I didn't hit him because I'm not a violent person. And he criticized me for this and said, how terrible this was that I'd done this. Oh, he said to an old man. This old man was 28, by the way, just another one of his lies. But listen to what he suggests should happen to this disabled epileptic woman because she stood up to him and reported him for what he'd done. Listen to his version of how that should be dealt with. Well, I get to the point, I just hope she has a fit and dies because she's a freaking pain in the ass. And, you know, that's, that's, that could be, you could class that as a bit harsh. She is ill, she's sick in the head. I hope she has a fit and dies. I hope, because she reported him for the way he treats dogs. That was his solution. He carries on about, he loves to debate and discuss. No, he said she hope, he hopes she has a fit and dies. But he criticised me for threatening to punch somebody who abused their dog. Wow, what a hypocrite. And he says that people who can't control their emotions shouldn't do dog training. I heard a story, Chris, that you broke a man's jaw. You punched him hard enough to break his jaw. Does that make you again a bit of a hypocrite? I wonder. This is the one that's had more discipline than any other dog here. Yeah, look what he wants to do. This one, this one keeps biting. So what I'm doing is I'm putting his teeth in the back of his mouth with my hand in his mouth. I'm not hurting him, but I'm sending him a message to say to him, that's not acceptable. What I do, like I say, is that again, look. I put the, the gums onto his teeth. He's not going to bite himself. So, in case you can't quite see what he's doing here, he's pushing the dog's lips up onto its teeth and then squeezing, so it feels like it's biting its own lips. That's the way he teaches the dog not to jump up. This is a trainer of, what, 30 plus years training, experience, expertise. <laughs> That's how he stops the dog from jumping up. Why not just teach it not to jump up like the rest of us do, Chris? And I got my fingers in his mouth, he could hurt me. He's not going to, but he's learning association that I'm powerful I dictate what's happening and I'm saying I'm the I'm the controller he's just mouthing me he's not being nasty but I don't want to be mouthed Look at the fear in the dog. Look at the fear. Did you hear what he just said? She's gone into protection mode. Why does she feel the need to be protected? He knows he's frightening the life out of the dog, but he just enjoys it because he's a bully. Do you see that? Do you hear what he said? If I show that video, I'm going to get a lot of people knocking me for it. Why do you think that will be, Chris? It's because you know that what you're doing is just plain abusive. But because you are an abuser, you don't care. But you didn't think these videos would end up out in public, did you? 
That's why you shared them, because you didn't think that the public would see them. But unfortunately, you shared them and some of the wrong people did see them and get hold of them and make the public aware. People need to know innocent people send their dogs along for you for training, not realising this is what's going to happen to them. Wow, I don't have to do this to my own dogs. I only have to do this to customers' dogs. So customers, this is what you can look forward to, to having your dogs trained, uh, how you can have your dogs trained. This is what the dogs are gonna sign up for. I certainly wouldn't want my dog going there because this isn't dog training. So you'll remember that Chris just said he doesn't need to use abuse on his dogs. He only needs to use it on his client's dogs. Well, this is one of his dogs. Look at that. This is how to teach it to stay. Now look, this is an adult dog that he's had since he was a puppy, apparently. And this is how he's still having to teach it to stay. Most puppy training classes, before the course is finished, they'll have taught the puppies how to stay reliably. His dog there, as you see in that video, is adult. He's had it all that time. And that's how he's still having to try and teach it to stay. Yet he calls himself an expert gun dog trainer. I told you, I can be nice, I can be kind, I can be considerate. But when you piss me off, I'm coming to get you. Now, is this the same person that was saying that when I said I had to walk away from somebody who was abusing their dog, so I didn't punch them, and you said that this was unacceptable and a person who can't control himself shouldn't be training dogs. Here's somebody saying how you threatened them too. Hmm, again, make you a bit of a hypocrite, Chris. So, I now have to do things in disguise? What is this world coming to?
that's what he left on this poor, disabled, epileptic woman's voice message. Mm. What was it you said about not being able to control your temper, then you shouldn't be allowed to train dogs? Mm. I take it you must be going into training some other species then, because clearly dogs are not for you. It's tough love sometimes to get the best out of them in a quick way without any problems. But then what I do is I'll sit on here, I'll turn round, and I'll let him come to me, and then I'll, t I'll stroke him, and then I'll put him in his box and say, well done, boy, you sat there nicely, and he's a good lad. So that's enough. He's a good boy. Look how frightened he is. It won't come out. It won't come out. It's too scared. Even when he's telling it's a good boy, it's too scared. Do we see the pattern? Every dog we see him working with me, is terrified to, to approach him. To, I'm not going to him. Why do we think that is? So I'm going to open up the car. I don't want him coming out, so I'm just going to open the car and leave the door like that. And I'm teaching him through association that if he comes out, he get a bang on the nose. Everything I say, I stand by. Use this as evidence. Use my tapes as evidence. So here we have the Royal Society of Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, uh, to Mr. Up. So what we've got here, it says, I am the principal prosecution case manager that was assigned to this file, submitted by the Inspector, Ta Inspector Taylor following his investigation into potential offences identified from three videos posted on social media. Having viewed the file of evidence, including comments,